Don't forget about Valentine's Day if you need to remember it for tomorrow um, and get yourself out of the doghouse. <laughs> I'm Robin Mead. This is what's going on today. You know, news that the NFL player, the Browns player who attacked an opponent with his helmet, will be back on the field. You're going to see him playing. The league announced it efforts are scamming parents and grandparents into handing over money. The one thing the FBI says, you want to know? Well, you know my mom. <laughs> okay, but I mean, there all... were a few choice words and was like, yeah, right. But anytime you bring in a loved one, it makes you, you stop a beat and go, oh, yeah. All right, but why did she even answer the phone call? Needed to be shot back to life? Yeah. Boy, that is dire. Yeah, it really is. I mean, the Blues say that J. Bo Meester is doing well, so that's a good thing. Good. He's still in the hospital recovering, and he's undergoing tests to determine what actually happened when he had his cardiac episode. It was a frightening scene, too. For, for LeBron to say, it's probably the best thing he's ever done. That's and this speaks volume about where his heart is. We talk about his competitive nature and how incredible you know, he is as an athlete, but he, what he's doing for those kids at that How school, many again? 193? 193 of them. Oh! Isn't that awesome? Scholarship. It's unbelievable. And, and that's it's like a partnership between him between and Between his State. foundation and Kent State University. I love it. Changing lives. That might be my favorite story today. I thought it was another one. I think that's the <laughs> There one. we go. Yeah. Um, newly released video show. West Virginia's governor is denying allegations of racism over comments he made on a radio show after a fight in a girls' high school basketball game where, by the way, he was coaching. The opposing team's coach hasn't commented. The state's high school athletic association says it is investigating. Ooh, Houston Astros players are finally ready, apparently, to apologize for their sign-cheating scandal. Today, together, wow, Coy. Yeah, this morning they are set to have a press conference ahead of spring training opening up, and so they're... they're How they're feeling this morning. I you can know. see it on their faces. I yeah. know. I love that they said that these kids, they have all shown the grit, determination, and dedication that is worthy of them receiving a scholarship to go. Yeah, I mean, it's just incredible what LeBron's doing. And they don't have to go from far from home. Yeah, Can't that's stay, right. right? right there. It's a car ride. Yeah. If their parents don't want so to live good. on campus, they don't have to. <laughs> oh, I go. shouldn't say that, <laughs> right? Because right, right. most people want to live on campus, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on its special Valentine's Day episode of The Mass Singer, well, it's not Valentine's Day, but Valentine's Week. So the legend inside the costume told Billboard.com, this is the weirdest thing as an artist that she has ever done. Oh. It's happening, right? Yeah. Aladdin is popping this morning. Disney is working on a follow-up to last year's live-action remake, Robin. And according to The Hollywood Reporter, Will Smith, Mina Masood, and Naomi Scott are... Although there's nothing on the walls. Oh, I didn't even notice that. At least on the portions that we were showing. Mm. <laughs> you leave a kid with a craft set, you Don't might even. have something on the walls. Beckham just got his first set of crayons. Did he? I yeah. did color the walls once as a kid, so just Accidentally, he colored the wall. Oh, this already happened! Yes, it has. They do have wash-off paint <laughs> now. Um, so in the exist publicly apologizing to Gail King of CBS after he admits that he overreacted about the parts of her interview uh, where she asked about Kobe Bryant that got edited together and put online without her knowledge. She was interviewing um, a Lisa Leslie, Lisa Leslie mm -hmm. a basketball star, and said this was a wide-ranging interview. And they usually are, aren't they? When you sit down and interview someone, it's at least what, 20 minutes or so, and sometimes those get cut down to maybe three minutes. The other people probably make I guess the male jumpsuit. Yeah, they do. A romper means they're shorts. So anyway. Hey. Show, show it. That's a funny story. <laughs> I mean, unless you're a fan of it. What I mean is yeah. kind of funny. Get it how you the live. The male romper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's plenty of, of companies that make the adult, they, they call them onesies. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. like they're like pajamas, kind of. Mm -hmm. Or they're kind of bad. Sometimes they have feet in them, too. I like yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever flood the Valentine's Day for somebody? What about pretending that you have a gift for your spouse when you don't, you're borrowing it from the office? The culprit in this Cupid Confessions wishes to remain unnamed.